Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time I have an intro. <laughs> Um, this video is based off of things I used to do as a child, but I'm doing the things I did as a child as a teenager, though. Um, one of the first things I need to do is kind of dress a little bit more like I was as a child, so see you guys in a second. Okay, I kind of look a little bit more like my younger self, but not really, because puberty hit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyways, my first activity will be outside, so I'll see you guys outside. So one of the first things I used to do as a child would be cartwheels, I guess. I did lots of cartwheels as a child because I wanted to be a gymnastic person or do gymnastics. Uh, that didn't work out for me. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. It's fine, though. So this is my first attempt at doing a cartwheel since I was, I think, nine years old. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so I obviously do cartwheels like I used to when I was nine. It actually took me a few tries to <laughs> land it. But that's because I haven't practiced at all and I didn't really think about doing cartwheels until literally today, so that's that was kind of sad. When I was younger, I had a humongous imagination. So I would look at things and then think of it as like an adventure. And so as a younger child, I was looking at the back of my deck and I was kind of like, wouldn't I have imagined that as something I would have done an epic adventure on when I was a child? And I was kind of like, probably. So here's me. <laughs> as is my younger self going on an adventure again. <laughs> the depth of my despair of what I probably used to crawl under. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Almost here. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Oh, <laughs> just ran into the tree. Oh, goodness. Uh, pretty sure that's what I used to do as a young child. <laughs> I used to get into a lot of mischief too. And I actually broke a tree that used to be in our yard. But. <laughs> Ew, I got hair in my mouth. Sorry. Um. I broke a tree that used to be in our yard. It's not anymore because we had to cut it down and I broke it, <laughs> obviously. But I can probably show you the remains of it. Never mind, I can't show you where the remains of it, the tree was, because I can't find the stump of it anymore. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh well. One thing is I remember when I was younger is I was obsessed with when I got trees from my school because they gave out free trees. And so I got this tree, which is actually behind me right now. It's gotten pretty tall, it's taller than me now. It was really small when we first got it. Um, but anyways, we planted it. And this is something I was really, really proud of as a child because I was like, this is my tree. It's sad when your tree's taller than you. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm not that much on my tree anymore because I'm older and now I just think of it as a tree. But at the same time, I'm like really proud of it still because it's like I destroyed one tree and we got to put a new tree up. So good job <laughs> to me. 
I remember when I was younger, I used to think things would, like, crawl out of that. But now that I'm older, I just know that that's our laundry. Where, like, the air of our laundry goes. I was an interesting child. When I was younger, I used to play with fire a lot. But I would always have someone around. Now that I'm older, it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm, let me rephrase that. It does matter because I obviously need to be careful with everything I do. But, um, I just was a crazy child. I'm sorry. Don't play with fire without people around. Just saying. <laughs> I do have a weird obsession with fire. That's not a really good thing. Oops. <laughs> I kind of like the smell of fire too. That's part of it. Just think it's an interesting smell. Okay, as a child, I obviously liked fire, but as an adult, not adult, but like teenager now, I still like fire. So <laughs> I just did that for my own fun. <laughs> Another thing I did as a child is I used to play with chalk a lot. And so I actually have chalk from when I was younger, which is fun. <laughs> so we're going to play with chalk. <laughs> mm. What am I drawing? I guess I'll draw a person, because it kind of already looks like a person. Not really. Ah! I need inspiration really badly. So I was looking stuff up on the internet for inspiration, and I then thought of a whale. Whales are pretty sweet. So that's my inspiration. I'm going to draw a whale now. It's going to look bad, because... I don't know how to draw a whole whale. <laughs> oh well, let's just try to go by memory. Um. I guess this could be a blue whale. Right? Cause it's blue! <laughs> Ew. I think it's thin there. Ah. Um, it needs an eyeball. There we go. I'm doing this on the road so it doesn't look as good as it, when it's like freshly paved on the sidewalk or anything like that. But hey, I tried. I know what I'm going to draw now. I'm going to draw a rainbow because I want to draw a rainbow and why not? <laughs> I need the green and I can't get it out. Man, I need green as a baby. Or whatever. How old I was. I got it. Oh, it looks so pretty. Now for the perfect touch. I didn't work at all how I wanted it to. I wanted it to like go down. Ooh, my hand looks really cool though. Doing all this kind of remind me how much I miss being a child. I just probably won't do this. 
on a daily basis though. But I do miss doing all this stuff because I was like every other 2000, 2000s child kind of. When I was younger, I used to have competitions with myself on how many bounces I could do on a tennis racket. So this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, I got my ball on my racket. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty. I only got to 38 bounces. I used to be able to get up to like 300, so <laughs> that's sad. But that's also because I used to do that all the time. I just was looking at my, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we can't get it back up there. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't get my racket up, back up there. Um. I was going to look at my bike, if I could ride that anymore, but my dad hung it up, so I can't ride my bike. <laughs> I was going to get on Pop Tropica, but it just said my user isn't found. And you can't find my user. I know it's my user because... I just know it is. <laughs> um, I didn't play Pop Tropica that long ago. It was, it's been like six years. It's been a while. <laughs> so today it taught me what it's like and how much fun it was when I was younger to do what I did. I kind of miss it. <laughs> I, I miss it. But at the same time, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but I do miss not having to do homework at all and just being able to come, come home. <laughs> come home and restart pretty much and have fun and do all the weird, idiotic things I did. So, I miss my past self. That's all I gotta really say. I just, I miss my past self. And, never know. I might do like another video like this, where I'm just kinda like, oh look, here I am again as a baby. Kind of. But, like, I might go farther back instead of, like, nine years old or something like that. I mean, I used to play with Barbies, too. But I didn't put that in the video. Oh, well. <laughs> you never know. We'll see how everything goes. And thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye!